They're so cute. I low key want a goat. A little bit of a life update. I have about two and a half weeks left on my first travel nursing assignment here in South Boston, Virginia. I'm getting ready to make that long drive back to Kansas and naturally my car started making all sorts of funny noises. So it's been in the shop all morning. Something about the tire rods and the wheel bearings, I don't know, but it's all fixed. They gave me this sweet little loner car. really my taste but it was nice to be able to go home and not have to sit there all day while they were working on my car so thank you to Southern Automotive for fixing my car twice during this travel nursing assignment and being nice enough to loan me a car I'm gonna take this back and pick up my car and that's just been a nice little life update I finally got my car back and um, I want to say thanks again to Southern Automotive because this car has never run so smooth in its life. The poor thing. I have put over 10,000 miles on this car in the last two months. You don't realize how bad something is until you have it fixed. I didn't even realize how hard it was to turn the steering wheel or press the gas pedal until I had it fixed and now everything just runs so smooth. I just wanted to make a PSA and say that Taco Bell french fries are everything. You don't know how bad you need something until you have it. And if they ever take these away from me again, we're gonna have a problem. So I've only got two weeks left on my first travel nursing assignment here in Virginia. And there's two things that I really wanna do before I leave this Airbnb house. The first thing I wanna do is try to get some video of the goats. I mentioned in my first video that I'm living on a goat farm, as weird as that sounds, but I don't think that I've taken any video of them yet. So I wanna try to get some video of them before I leave. I'm gonna try before it gets dark. I think I saw them out a little bit ago, so I'll try to get some video. The other thing that I wanna do relates to the really weird noises that I've been hearing from the attic. So I mentioned this in another video too. Every single day, the attic makes these really loud, weird noises and it sounds like there's something living up there. And I've been too scared to go up there, but I noticed something the other day that I hadn't noticed before. So there's a window, let me show you. That window there. So that window is part of the attic and I don't know if there's a room up there or what it looks like, but since I've only got two weeks left in this area, Airbnb house, I'm gonna go up there and do a little bit of investigating and see if I can figure out where those weird noises are coming from and see what it looks like. Let's see if I can't find me some goats. Uh, I hear them making, the <gasps> there they are. They hear me coming, look! They're running! <laughs> oh my gosh, they love me. Look at the goats, they're so cute. Hi babies, they're so cute. I low key want a goat, just me and my crew. I freaking love goats, like, ugh. Oh. Living on a goat farm has been the best ex- Oh, it's eating my hair. <laughs> I almost said it's been the best experience, I lied. Oh my God. Why is this one being so aggressive? Like, hello? Bro, don't do that. Look at it. <laughs> Ew. Hello. <laughs> Ew, are we a little slobbery? Mm. This black and white one is mine. <laughs> it looks like you're smiling. How you get 
get fed, I'm assuming. This is so cool, living on a goat farm. Like, I can just come out here every day and play with goats. Hey! <laughs> Ow! That kind of hurt. <laughs> what is this one doing? I have no idea. What are you doing? Are you okay? No. <laughs> this one's not okay. So these are all the males. They have the females and the males separated. The females with all the babies are over there. And I see if I can find them. They have all the females and the babies locked up. They're normally out. I don't know where they're at. I think I'm gonna have to take one of these back home to Kansas with me. I wonder how a goat would get along with my cats. I'm going back inside. Okay guys, moment of truth. We are gonna figure out what is in this attic. I have my flashlight, and let's do this. I'm low-key scared. Whoa! Mm. Got it. Here we go. This is weird. Not what I was expecting. It's so unbelievably hot up here, I'm sweating. Why are there hangers up here? that I was talking about. Let's see if there's anything on the other side. Is that a crib? No, 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 no. Why is there a crib in the attic? Oh my God, that is so creepy. What is this stuff? Christmas decorations? And a little Christmas tree. She's gonna leave it closed. Oh, you know what? I see they have a light bulb right there. How do you even? Oh, follow the. Oh, now I can see. Wow. Just your garden variety attic, I guess, other than the fact that there is a crib up here, which is really creepy and it kind of paints a picture in my mind of strange noises and crib well now i know so i won't always have to wonder i'm gonna get out of here now and never come back up here this is what i do on my days off goodbye well that was fun on a much lighter note i wanted to update everyone on the cats they're doing great you have no idea what you're in store for i don't know if they're gonna let me put them back in the car Sage. Do you hear the purr? There she is. Well guys, we're gonna go to sleep because I have to get up really early in the morning to go surfing. It'll probably be the last time I get to go surfing for a while. I think that's gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for watching.